Hey guys, it's Dr. Here here, or Dr. Prodigy, where we learn math by watching and playing Prodigy. So I have already gone with a puppet master once and completely epically lost. And so I think I have to build up my skill set first. So we're going to go over to Shiver Chill Mountains and let's see if we can rescue some pets and just level up right now we're already at a level 80 um actually let's go this way we're just gonna level up um right now we're doing even and odd numbers <gasps> we got a frozen item all right tin can and gold we will take it Army goal right now is leveling up. Take 20 buttons and count in pairs to determine if there is an even or odd amount. Now we've done a bunch of these problems in the earlier second grade videos and the main thing they want to see is that we see 10 plus 10 gives us even. So we'll keep moving on because we've done these questions in the other video. Right, we should have probably changed our pet that I think about it since I went to River Shell Mountains. Um, okay, there are four animals in a barn. The farmer wants to put the animals into two equal groups. Can the farmer put the animals into two equal groups? So we've got four animals all together. This one will just use counters. Here's my four animals, and we want two groups. So I've got here's my one group my second group. So I need to put a counter into each group. One piggy, one piggy, one piggy, one piggy. Yes. Ooh, that was a good one. All right. Now it says Mark has 13 coins. He wants to place coins in two equal piles. Can Mark split the coins in two equal piles? Right away you probably notice no. This will, these all match. So these would be able to split evenly. There's 12 of those, but there's this one extra coin. So no, we couldn't put them into equal piles because there'd be one extra. Bite tends to be one of my better spells. Oh wait, we can do a pet rescue. I missed that. Jeez Louise. Right. Which pet do we want to rescue? Well, we don't want to become a member. Can we rescue you without being a member? Nope. Rescue you without being a member? Nope. I guess we're not rescuing any pets today. We'll just do flood. Well, there you go. Let's see if we leveled up at all. Definitely got rewards and coins. That's good. the member chest because we're not a member. That is one cute pet. There are two prizes in one bag and four prizes in another bag. Mrs. Robin at one will give the prizes to two students. We'll should be able to give each student the same number of prizes. So let's take our counting blocks. We can see that all together that there are six different prizes. We want two groups. This is my one student and here's my other student and she wants to give the same number. So one monkey goes here, one monkey goes here. One monkey, one monkey, one monkey, one monkey. Yes, each student can get three prizes. Green Gust. 
Goodbye. Oh, you survived. There are six animals in one barn, 10 in the other, and she wants two different groups. Well, we have a couple ways that we can do this. First, we can do 10 plus six. When we add that up, we get 16, and we see that the six is an even number, so we can say yes. So we know the answer is yes. Another way you can do it is we're gonna count off by twos. One, two, one, two. One, two. And we're counting off by twos because there's two groups. If there was three groups, we would count by three. And if we notice, we ended on a two, so each group got a number. So yes, it works. If we had ended on a one, then there wouldn't be enough. Autumn Gust is not that powerful of a spell. Are we able to rescue this pet? Nope. Goodbye. It's my little get go. And they keep saying go to the academy, but I really want to level up a little bit more. What does the miner have to say? Okay, well, find ice crystals, bring them to the furnace, come back for rewards. Well, that's kind of cool. Got an old sock and a tin can. someone new to battle. Who this is? Who is this? Ice Creator. Ooh. Green Gust. <sighs> Bye, Funky. Alright, Mrs. Moore has two classes. There are eight students in one and eleven in the other. Can she divide them into equal teams? Well, first, we can add going down. Eight plus one more is nine. And we know there's like an invisible zero here. So one plus zero is one. We know that nine is an odd number. So no is the correct answer. The other way we can do it is we can count off by twos because it's two teams. One, two. And if we end on a two, then we know there's enough. see that there's one extra. So no, we cannot have two equal teams. What does the value in the one represent? This is three hundreds, five tens, and one one. So the one represents one. I'm still gonna keep hitting pet rescue, but I just think we have to be a member for it. Yeah, see? I think there's some pets that we can defeat, but other ones it just doesn't work. does the one represent in 901? Same thing, the one is in the one's place, so it represents one. We completed the place value skill. this in standard form. 500 plus 90 
plus zero. So we line up the place values. Zero, zero plus nine is nine. And the five comes down. Goodbye. All right, well, we're gonna see what we got for our prizes. Remember, this is Dr. Eric, where we play, learn math by watching and playing Prodigy. We get one evolution, but we don't want to use our evolution, so we'll skip that. I'm not going to worry about my stars. All right. Oh, we got new rewards, though. Cool. All right. Um, all right. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Bye, guys.